for all things Halloween. This is Hauntformer, and welcome back to yet another horrifying mask video. I was not expecting to do this particular mask video before, but when I went locally to Party City, I ran into a mask that I've never seen before, and after looking at the price tag of $29.99, I couldn't pass it up, and I wanted to show it to you guys today because you might be surprised like I was. This is the officially licensed Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Pretty Woman Mask. Now, I'm going to take the packaging off in just a second, but I wanted to keep the packaging on one because it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, and two, because right down there you can see there is a little logo for the notorious Ruby's Costumes Company. Yes, this is a Ruby's mask. Now, uh, a couple weeks back, I actually made a video where I discussed Ruby's, Michael Myers, and Jason masks that I got at Walmart, which were not really that good. But this, this is different. Now, I know Trick or Treat Studios makes their own version of the Pretty Woman mask as seen at the end uh, the latter half of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Toby Hooper. But this mask, I was really surprised with, and I wanted to pick it up for that price. So let me take the packaging off of this, and we will get a, uh, a closer, in-depth look at old Leatherface. So I would have to probably go on record saying that the pretty woman face is my favorite of the Leatherface looks because it's so darn creepy in the movie. And even with this copy of this Ruby's mask, I still am very creeped out. Now, this this face actually reminds me of another horror film, not just the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, obviously, but also a movie called Taurus Trap, which came out in the 70s. Same production uh, design team behind Texas Chainsaw. Uh, but, man, are these masks ever so creepy? I love the way this looks. It just is so dead. And the makeup on it and the hair is really weird. They did a good job of getting a big full head of hair, though some, some of the times when I wear this, it looks like an afro, uh, which I don't think is how it looked necessarily in the movie. Um, you know, Leatherface's hair, but it still is a creepy mask nonetheless. You can see all the detail put into that. If I flip it over, this is this is kind of interesting. This is a fabric piece that goes on the top of your head, and the inside, of course, is rubber. There is no strap. You just kind of place it on top of your head like so. But, despite having no strap, it, it really stays on quite well. I mean, I guess if you really were going nuts, it would fly off. So you could, in, in fact, get a strap. But look at how big the hair is. Do you see all of that hair? That's a little excessive. But it certainly looks creepy. You have to admit. I really liked this mask. When I saw it in person, I knew I had to have it. It was $29.99, which is not bad at all. The Tots version is $60, bucks, and so for half the price, I feel like I got a pretty good deal. And the good news is, these masks, even if you get a weird copy that's like bent and, you know, not really that good, because obviously this doesn't really have a form to it, just one piece... This is the, the, the perfect mask to have a weird bent copy because it's it's supposed to be human flesh. It's supposed to be skin. And for that reason, it can look all the more weird. And this most certainly uh, does. But I, I love this mask. I really enjoy it. Uh, despite my little grievances with the excessive amount of hair and, you know, there's a, a lack of molding, like, shaping to the face... It's really good. I wish it had a strap on it. But other than that, I really enjoy it for the price. I would probably have to give this, honestly, a 4.5 out of 5 skulls. Because, you know, it has those issues. But one, it's pretty cheap. 
And two, it looks so creepy to me. This is easily one of the creepiest masks that I own. And it, whether you display it, wear it for Halloween, whatever you're doing with this, using it for a prop, you'll certainly get the point of across. This is very creepy and a perfect way to capture the magic, if we want to be so bold and call it that, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Thank you for watching, and remember, for all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former.